FM 94, The Dark, and it is that time once again. Time to uh, find out something about bands that we play here on The Dark, and obviously we're on the phone right now. Uh, we're talking with Logan Raskin. He's the lead singer of the band, The Raskins. Of course, we play their latest song called We Had It All right here on The Dark. And I got Logan on the phone right now, and Logan, first of all, welcome to The Dark, and uh, where are you calling from today? Uh, actually, we're in Hollywood, California right now, and we're... We're here with the whole band getting ready for our uh, upcoming tour with uh, Scott Weiland. And that, uh, I, I know I talked to you just briefly before we started this interview, uh, that tour coming up with Scott Weiland, uh, that's going to be pretty exciting, and it sounds like you already have a fun-filled spring planned already with tours with him, Saving Abel, and maybe even back with Scott Weiland again, huh? Yeah, we're actually pretty excited about it. Um, it seems like we have a lot of really good touring opportunities coming in. I know the Scott Weiland tour kicks off for us. Uh, they're actually titling it the Purple to the Core tour. Um, that starts uh, April 25th in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, we run with him for about 12 shows, and we make our way back to Hollywood, California, take about a week and a half off, and then we're right back out on the road again uh, with our friends from the band Saving Abel. Uh, Going to be doing about 20 shows with them. And uh, our our management is probably going to be sprinkling in a few shows with Ted Nugent as well. So uh, it's going to be definitely a fun-filled uh, spring and summer for us, for sure. I got some questions about touring coming up in a moment, but let's get a little bit of the history of the band, the Raskins, and uh, how did this band all come about? Well, it's a it's a good it's a good question. Um, basically. The band is comprised of uh, my brother and I. You know, we're both identical twins. Um, we were both raised in a musical family. Um, my father was a big Broadway star, was in shows like the original cast of West Side Story with Rita Moreno in Oklahoma and South Pacific and, and Annie Get Your Gun. And so we kind of, and my mom was a jazz singer. So we were kind of raised in that environment. So it was pretty much inevitable that the two of us were going to end up in the, in, the, in the music community, and pretty much Roger and I started off as uh, a writing duo, just, just really just composing music and writing music, and um, we, we liked entertaining, we liked performing, but our biggest thing was really just writing great music, and we were writing for some other artists and, and composing music for a lot of different TV and film projects. And basically, it just got to a point where we were receiving so much email and fan mail from, from different fans all across the United States and even out of the United States asking, where can we get the music? Where can we purchase the music? Do you guys ever play out live? So it was really just a matter of time. I think the writing was on the wall when we were going to put together the band, and that's pretty much what we did. We put together the band. We surrounded ourselves with some of the best musicians in town. And we took about we took about almost a year to 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 finish writing and recording this record. Um, we ended up recording about fifty songs, and and we took the twelve best songs that we really uh, felt strong about and represented us, and and put it on this record, which actually comes out May thirteenth. Yeah, that's right. May thirteenth, the new album comes out. We'll chat about that in just a moment. Going back to the kind of the, the history of the band a little bit, and for yourself, obviously, you and your brother make up the band. Uh, musical influences back then. You mentioned obviously your mom being a jazz singer, your dad being on Broadway. But I guess looking at this album and looking at the music that you've put out, what are some of the other influences that have helped you uh, through the years get to where you're at now? <laughs> Well, that's probably one of my favorite questions that we do get asked. And even though we were we were brought up to the standards that my parents used to listen to, obviously growing up in New York City, some of our biggest influences were acts that were actually hot at the time as we were being brought up, which was, you know, such New York City bands as like Kiss and the Ramones and Blondie and the Talking Heads, and Iggy Pop, and the New York Dolls, and Simon and Garfunkel. I mean, the list goes on and on of some of these great New York City, you know, these great uh, artists and bands that came out of New York City. I mean, Richie Havens, Barner, Eddie Money, Joan Jett. You know, those were all some of our biggest influences. I mean, you know, my twin brother and I, and we actually have an older brother, Micah, 
who is actually our business manager to this day. So the three of us are all involved in music, and the three of us were raised in a bedroom, living all together with kids posters on our walls. So I used to stare at these kids posters all day long, <laughs> dreaming that maybe one day I'll be like those guys, you know, writing and performing music out live. So. Wow. Kiss is definitely a big influence of ours. I can definitely say that. Hey, let's talk about Kiss for a second, because tomorrow they get inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, what's your right. What's your take of this whole thing? Obviously, with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inducting only the four original members and not the actual whole Kiss name itself. Well, I mean, you know, it's 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 a tough it's a tough thing because the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and and uh, you know. It's, they kind of see it as what was it that put Kiss on the map? You know, what was it that really got that train rolling? And they see it as it was the original members, obviously, with Paul, you know, Ace, you know, Gene, you know, I mean, just, you know, those guys were, you know, Peter Chris, those guys were the original members and the original core, and they feel that that was the, their biggest success. But if you talk to, like, the band, and you talk to uh, a lot of the fans. I mean, that was only that was only a fraction of what those guys have done, and right. they've done so much since then with with so many other great musicians that they've had inside inside the band. So, for me personally, I think they should have everyone mm -hmm. that has played with Kiss be inducted. You know, I mean, I think that that is a crucial part of what Kiss was about. They recorded other other some of their greatest albums with, with, with other artists. And, you know, I think that they should all be included in that, in that uh, induction ceremony for sure. Yeah, and, and the other thing, too, obviously, now you got the feud between uh, both uh, sides a little bit here. And uh, sometimes, in the, obviously, the music industry, you get the feuds that happen and, and people write off people. In, in fact, you know, Scott Weiland, you're going to be going on a tour with him, and he's had his ups and downs and stuff with sure. things too. So I, yeah. it, it, it's unfortunate that some of these guys just can't get together when there's an award for the band, and it would be great to see them play together, but obviously that's probably not going to happen. Well, it's you know it's it's easy for us to say. I, I mean, know, you know, especially you know being being in a band myself and playing with different musicians over the years, it's it's an emotional it's 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 an emotional roller coaster, and and there's a lot of emotions and and things that are involved in playing with 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 guys in in a band situation and you know unfortunately it's it's like it's like any relationship yep. some relationships last forever some don't you know and 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 it's you know it's it's easy for us to look from the outside right. in but from on the inside it's sometimes a kind of a, a sticky and tricky situation you know <laughs> well that leads into my next question obviously you're in a band with your twin brother which is cool by the way I actually have twin daughters, so I kind of get the the vibe a little bit of twins. Now, my daughters aren't 10 yet, and you're, I think, in your middle 40s here. But uh, what's it like to be in a band with your brother? And then, obviously, if you got some frictions here and there, how do you work them out? Well, I mean, look, you know, one of the appealing things to having my, you know, you know my brother and I play together is, I mean, we, we, we've both done separate projects before. And we both know probably one of the hardest things to do is keep a band together at times. You know, we both knew that, look, we, I mean, I'm not going to say that our relationship is 100% rosy all the time. I mean, of course we're going to have our disputes, and of course we're going to have our disagreements. But at the end of the day, he's my brother. I love him. You know, he's always going to be my brother, and he's always going to be there for me. So to have that reliability inside of the band and to know that the two of us can always rely on each other and that we're the core of this unit. And we're, we're, we write all the music and all the responsibility really comes from us. I know that, that I, I feel solid in the future of what we're doing. I never have to worry about if the band's going to break up or if guys are going to quit because the truth of the matter is it's, it's we, we structured this band around the two of us. And that's a, it's a very powerful thing. It's very comforting knowing that I have the confidence and knowing that the two of us are, are, are going to be there for each other. 
Right on, right on. We're talking with Logan Raskin. He's the lead singer of the band, The Raskins. Obviously, I'd ask you what the origin of the name is from the band, but I think it's pretty obvious. It's your last name, correct? <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it is pretty obvious, but it's funny. I mean, we do get asked that a lot. You know, where did you guys get your name? How did you guys come across the name in the band, you know, The Raskins? I'm like, well, it kind of seems pretty obvious. I mean, obviously, it's, it's our last name, but... When we were writing the music, as I stated, for like doing the writing projects we did in the past for writing for different TV and film projects, you know, the music supervisors would address us as the Raskins. They wouldn't call us by our first names. They, they couldn't tell us apart. And they didn't even want to take the time to try to tell us apart. And they didn't want to offend us. So they would just address us as the Raskins and say, well, let's get the Raskins on the line. Let's call the Raskins in for a meeting. So <laughs> the name just stuck. It was pretty much obvious what we were gonna we were gonna call the band, and uh, pretty much named itself. You know. You know, you mentioned uh, looking alike, uh, identical. Obviously, I'm assuming that you have some stories of being identical twin, pulling some pranks on some people. Well, <laughs> you know, it's funny is my, my my mom at a very young age. We you know we used to go to her and say, you know, my, uh, do you mind if we kind of maybe switch on some classes or take some tests for each other <laughs> and this and that? She said, look, boy. If you guys can get away with it, I don't want to know about it, you know? So, uh, so you know, she kind of gave us her, her blessing with that, and we took full advantage of it. <laughs> day. But, I mean, we pretty much wrote the book on on uh, on doing that. Uh, I mean, we switched, we switched on dates before. I mean, we switched in classes before. Um, and the best thing is, especially in school, I mean, if it's, it, your friends and the, and the teachers didn't know you had an identical twin. Mm -hmm. They would never think that you actually pulling a switch on them because it never would occur to them what there's actually two of these guys, you know? <laughs> so it was a pretty easy thing to accomplish for us, and we definitely took full advantage of it. Um, and, you know, funny story, one time we actually got pulled over for, uh, I got pulled over for a speeding ticket, and Roger was asleep in the passenger seat, Actually, I actually used his license again. <laughs> and he got the ticket in the mail. He had no idea what that was from. And he asked me, Logan, do you know what this is from? I said, oh, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, that's a good so, one. Definitely a lot of funny stories there. Hey, let's uh, ask you some questions here, uh, getting back to the band. And actually, let's let's ask some musical questions for you. I like to ask these questions to people at interview. First of all, uh, Logan, what's in your music collection that might shock me? Ah, that might shock you. Mm hmm Well, I would probably say I love to listen to a lot of Frank Sinatra. Okay. Um, Sarah Vaughn. Mm-hmm. Um, Barbara Streisand. <laughs> okay. Hey. You know, I I love it. Uh, Nothing Tom wrong Jones, with that. Tom Jones. Yep, Tommy Jones. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's funny because these are these are some of the these, these are some of the artists that my parents listen. To I, I was up. just gonna say, so I got for me. Yep. It's it's a big part of who I was growing up. I mean, of yep. course. You know, I have all the bands that I listen to now, everywhere from Johnny Cash to Metallica, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? We have tons of that for days. But it's some of those old standards and some of those some of those musicians from the past that I, I really do uh, dig listening to. And it's funny, I always ask that question. It always generally goes back to a lot of times what my parents listened to. You mentioned Tom Jones, and right away in my head goes, oh yeah, I remember that year I got dragged to a state fair by my mom and dad to see Tom Jones. <laughs> yep, exactly. I remember I got dragged to a state fair to go see Ray Charles. Yeah. <laughs> big, big influence of mine, you know. And, the, um, and that's the thing. A lot of times the, the, that actually is your influence of how you make your music. Of course. It absolutely is. I mean, for my brother and I, it, it most certainly was. I mean, to have that foundation for us, it was... It was a special thing, and it definitely comes across in our writing. And, and, I mean, that's really what we wanted to try to accomplish with this record, is to try to get that diversity on there, to kind of show our writing diversity, but to keep, you know, put a modern twist on it. What current band in active rock right now do you like? 
You know, I mean, there's, there's a lot of bands out there that we're, we're listening to currently. I mean, you know, you have, obviously, a, pro, you know, a band like the Foo Fighters or, or, or Green Day, or you see a band like Nine Inch Nails coming back around again. Or, mm-hmm. I mean, it just, you know, it's the, the music is so filled with so much quality stuff now. It, it, you know, I mean, you even go as far as to see someone perform like Lady Gaga. You know, it's like, you know, and, and a lot of our fans would never think that I would be into an artist like that, yet I'm so impressed by 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 how talented she is, you mm-hmm. know? And, um, yeah, I just, I, I really love what's happening out there in, in the music industry right now. I mean, I think there is a lot of talent out there, and, and you know, uh, our influences are so diverse. I mean, I really can listen to so many of these different artists out there right now. How about this question here, and this one always makes people think, what artist would you like to cover one of your songs? If I could have any artist cover yeah. one of my songs. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's living? <laughs> yeah, but sure, I guess. That's, either way. That's a, great, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good question. Um if I, yeah, I don't, you know, maybe even like someone like Madonna, or okay. Blondie. There you go. Man, <laughs> you nothing. Know, just, just, I would love to see an artist that's not known for like rock and roll cover it. Gotcha. Like it was cool. I remember when like John Cash was doing covers right before he passed away, mm-hmm. and it was just so cool listening to like Nine Inch Nail cover or something like that. And I, I like that. Right. You know? So. Probably just have an artist that you would never think that would cover one of your songs. I mean, even if it was, uh, you know, as crazy as like uh, as like uh, a Celine Dion or something like that. I mean, yep. something that no one would ever think of. But I don't know if that would ever happen. But it would trip me out. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you never know. It might happen someday. <laughs> right. Hey, uh, let's ask you another question I'd like to ask. You're in charge of putting a uh, three-band bill together, so it's the Raskins along with two other bands playing. Uh, who would those two other bands be? It would be kind of your ultimate three-band bill. And this one you can have people that are alive or no longer alive, too, if you wanted to do that. Wow. I mean, man, I, I would definitely definitely have to include some of our, you know, some of our favorite New York bands. Um, I mean, if I had, if I had my dream, I would probably say, um, I would have to put the Ramones in there. Yep. I was going <laughs> to say, yep. um, I would love to, you know, let me try to think. I mean, I'd love to play with Iggy Pop. Okay. Um, it's hard, you know, isn't I it? Wish, I, I, you know, I wish I, you know, I wish I, I, I could play with Simon and Garfunkel. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because my brother and I can do. Uh, you know, we're, we love performing acoustically. I would love to have the opportunity to 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 to, to have to, to be on a bill with uh, like a Simon and Garfunkel. You know. I hear you. Um, it would be great. Or to do a show with the dictators. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, we're talking with Logan. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We're talking with Logan Raskin of the Raskins. Uh, they have a new album coming out and a uh, current song. Uh, I guess that current song is starting to hit the radio. It's played here on our airwaves. We had it all. What does it mean to you to hear your music on the radio? Well, I mean, as an artist, it's it's probably one of the best and biggest accomplishments i mean just 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 hearing your song on the radio and in fact one of the songs that we put on this album is a song called on the radio and it was specifically written about the very first time my brother and i heard our music on the radio and i mean for any musician growing up as a young kid that first time you hear your 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 song that you compose in your bedroom, that you wrote about very personal things and very personal feelings, hearing that on the radio, it, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming, and, uh, you know, to say the least, it's, 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 it's an amazing feeling. That new album, obviously, is coming out on the 13th of May. What's the title of the album, and then, obviously, uh, where can they get a hold of the album? 
Well, the album is a self-titled album. We went through several titles. <laughs> we decided, <laughs> you know what, the debut album's got to be self-titled. Okay. So that's what we did. It's just going to be called The Raskin. Um, right now we have a single out, which is available online at all your online outlets, Amazon, Google, iTunes. Um, we're actually running, uh, Amazon is running a discount on the single, so you could actually get the single discounted at 69 cents for the download. The album comes out May 13th. It's uh, going to feature 12 songs, obviously, by the Raskins. And uh, that is also going to be available um, all across the Internet on all the uh, downloadable websites, iTunes, um, Napster, uh, you know, Rhapsody, Google, Amazon. It will also be available at some stores such as Best Buy. Uh, Target and Walmart, which we're excited about. That's great. That is great. And how can they learn more about the band, the Raskins? Well, they can definitely go to our official website, which is just simply theraskins.com. And on there, we always keep updates on where we're touring, um, exactly uh, live uh, interviews we might be doing on the radio or signings or in-store performances we're going to be doing. Um, also, they can hit up our, our Facebook page, which they, 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 can, they can go to from our official website and our Twitter pages. And my brother and I are very big at staying in touch with our fans and our, and our fan base and our public. And, you know, we have, we have hundreds and thousands of fans that write into us all the time, and we really try to make an effort to reach out to all of them uh, our fans are very important to us, and, and we really do appreciate their support. Awesome. And uh, any uh, idea if you're going to make it up to Minnesota at some time here? Well, in fact, uh, I, I think we do have some shows on the schedule. Um, I know we're going to be coming out there um, probably in midsummer. Okay. Um, with 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 Saving Abel coming through there, so um, hopefully we'll be. Uh, Hopefully, we'll be doing more than one show out through the Minnesota area. Awesome, awesome. Well, Logan, it was a lot of fun talking to you, get to know you, and you know what? We're going to entertain the fans now with your latest song. Sound good? Yeah, I really do appreciate it. It was great talking to you as well. All right, once again, that is Logan Raskin. He's the lead singer of the band, The Raskins. Their latest song is called...